The annual Back to School Bash and Community Resource Fair happens tomorrow. Started by First United Methodist Church and over the years joined by many partners. They will have all kinds of things for kids getting ready for back to school. <coughs> Excuse me, it happens at Horace Blackman Park. They will have all kinds of kids activities, hot dog lunch, giveaways, and best of all, backpacks filled with back to school supplies. They will be doing uh, personal hygiene giveaways, smiles on wheels, dental exams, between three and seven, Parents, bring your kids. Kids, bring your parents. They do want kids to be accompanied by adults. Uh, we'll see you downtown tomorrow. Saturday, it is the Miss Jackson County Rose Queen Scholarship Pageant and the Miss Jackson County Teen USA Pageant, all happening in one great show, starting at 6 p.m. at the Michigan Theater. Tickets available at the door. Concession stand will be open. Come and support all these great contestants competing for the title of Miss Jackson County Rose Queen in Teen USA 2022. Joining us now for JC Now from Jackson College Director of Admissions and New Student Engagement, Stephanie Waffle Stevenson. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Bart. Good to see you. Welcome back. Yes, thank you. <laughs> An exciting time in, uh, in the school business. It is, yes. Back to school coming up. Yes, yeah. it's that um you know calm or i should say chaos a little bit but it's <laughs> good kind of chaos it's exciting to see students back on campus and getting excited to start um, courses and especially our freshman students first time for a lot of these kids on a college campus yes are it, there some things that you do to uh, make the experience uh, even more uh, exciting but also less um uh you know uh daunting Absolutely. So the biggest thing that we say at JC is we are um, our own small community. So we are large enough to have housing on campus, but yet also small enough to where we are able to know our students' names. So students like me and my team, we meet with them very first time that they come into the office typically or that very first phone call, but our um, work doesn't stop there. And so they just know that they can have somebody to reach back out to, uh, whether they have questions or concerns. Um, and then also just making sure that uh, we have some of their favorite things on campus too with some of our new um, foods that we're offering through our um, dining services and things like that. Uh, and really getting the student voice heard and hearing what they would like to see as well. Nice, because it is different. Um, JC actually runs their own food service, Chef yes. Greg. So it's not some out-of-state company sending down menus and stuff. Right, it is, it's amazing. Um, and every time I see Greg, I, I give him kudos and to him and his team because they are doing a fantastic job. Um, students have also uh, made that well known and he definitely listens to the students' voice. Uh, if there's something that's not on the menu, he says, send it in, we'll try it and see how it goes. Um, you know, he can't make promises, but he's absolutely um, all ears uh, to see what that might be. So. So is there a back to school uh, event? Uh, do you have a, like a hot dog cookout or anything like that? So we aren't necessarily have one scheduled right now. However, we do have a jet jam that will start for students who um, are registered for classes. Uh, that is actually September 8th that's scheduled for. Some of the more uh, specific details to come on that, uh, but that is something that our uh, Student Life Department and Housing is working on creating currently. Uh, and then we are right now Students who are wanting to come in for the fall semester, they're welcome to stop by our offices, uh, Central Campus, our other locations in Hillsdale County and Lenaway County. Uh, and then also we have uh, some other events happening at the MLK Center, uh, which students can stop by and do some new student orientation pieces to get ready to go for the fall. That's right, new classes uh, for the first, well, uh, picking up again at the King Center uh, yeah. after uh, COVID break. All right, so different options because you have different um, class offerings that run different lengths of time. We do, yes. Uh, so we have our traditional 15-week courses, um, and that traditional start date is August 29th. We also have our seven-week courses. Uh, some of those will start August 29th, and then we also have a second set that will start later on, closer to the beginning of October, uh, for students that can start those um, opportunities as well. 
Uh, they are listed on our um, JC website. Students can take a look if they would like. They're also, again, more than welcome to reach out to my team um, or anybody really in the Student Services Department at JC, and we'd be more than happy to guide them. How does someone decide whether they you know, go to the traditional 15-week uh, offerings or look at the, the seven-week? Right. Um, a lot of students, they think that they know exactly what they want, but um, one great thing, they, each student who is degree seeking gets assigned a student success navigator. Mm -hmm. And they uh, really help guide each student, uh, understanding what strengths and weaknesses um, for these students. If a 15-week class might be better or if a 7-week class might be better for them, depending on their academic goals and what they're looking to do um, in the future. Mm -hmm. Every kid, every student gets a student success navigator? So as far as a degree seeking student, yes, wow. you do get a student success navigator assigned to you. Um, and it's based typically on academic pathway. Uh, so if a student is going into the sciences, they would be assigned um, somebody who is particular, particularly for that uh, pathway that we have at JC. Um, other ones, if they're athletes, they sometimes have their own student success navigator as well uh, so that they can schedule around practices and um, game times and things like that. Nice. So will they help write term papers? They don't write help, help write term <laughs> papers. Now we do have a Center for Student Success that uh, <laughs> has uh, free and on-demand tutoring available, both on-site and online. So we do have those resources available for students. If writing is not your thing, if math is not your thing, uh, we definitely have folks that are willing to help throughout the semester. All right, well let's talk about student housing, which I think is one of the coolest things about JC. Yeah. I think it's the only community college in Michigan, maybe there's one other that has student housing. There's a couple others that do have student housing. They, they copied uh, JC though. Yes, yeah, so we were one of the first, <laughs> that's where it came, um, and we don't have that normal um, dorm setup. Um, a lot of times, so students actually, even first year students, get their own uh, dedicated bedroom that they can have that has a locked door. Uh, they have a shared bathroom often with one other person. Um, they have different suites to where they share with either two other folks or three other folks depending on what they um, what setup that they choose and there is also a shared common uh, living area that's available nice. um, students who are second year or above there is um, more of an apartment style setup with a full kitchenette um, dishwasher they get a dishwasher As if in college I mean, I hope, maybe, we'll <laughs> see. They just have to press a button, but <laughs> they get the full-size dishwasher um, and then uh, oven and stove, refrigerator in their common living space, and then again, uh, separate bedrooms that they have to kind of have their own privacy when they want it. Yeah, and they lock, so you don't have to put a sock on the doorknob. Exactly. Now, you, the kids today are probably more uh, responsible uh, and mature than when I was in college, because we were, you know, who knew what we were doing? We didn't, right. and the things were different. <laughs> when I was 18, you could drink at 18. Oh, that was legal, yeah. not anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> so college was a different thing. Sure, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you have to be from out of town to live in the student housing? No, you do not. You can. Uh, we have a lot of Jackson residents that want to get that on-campus experience, and so they um, choose to stay in our on-campus housing. Um, and they really thrive there. So, but we do welcome, obviously, um, anybody who is out of state or out of town, um, they're more than welcome to. And if they do stay in our housing and are out of district, they get our in-county uh, tuition rate. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Now the food, the, so uh, food service, how's that work? If you live in student housing, is it part, you get a meal plan? Uh, you are expected to do a meal plan okay. if you stay in housing. Uh, you have a couple choices, but also our commuters can have meal plans. We have a commuter meal plan. Oh. So that's nice as well if students end up being on campus all day and they want to stop by our dining commons and grab lunch, they are welcome to do that if they purchase that meal plan. Cool. Is there uh, food in the uh, Jets hangar? Not yet. It's coming. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm able to say what it is. So I don't know. I know, but I don't, <laughs> I don't right. want to give anything too far away. What's it start with? What letters does it start with? A P. Okay. That's uh, just something we have to uh, look forward to. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. And everything we talked about, all the details at jccmi.edu. We'll have a great uh, kickoff to the school year. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Director of Admissions and New Student Engagement at Jackson College with JC Now, Stephanie Waffle Stevenson.
Uh, we've got a bunch of things happening this week. Uh, I'll give you an idea about a couple of them next. <laughs>